If a woman gets a job, she can have a new romance in the UK, including one-night stands. Prestige levels are determined by jobs. As someone who has always had a good scholastic record, a physics graduate from the University of Manchester, the standard seems discriminatory. The UK Border Agency prioritizes private life for illiterate women from third-world countries. I fancy they all get jobs given on a plate, which serve the interests of the employee, but their work is of little use to anyone else. I can bring up examples which are from India, but people from other third-world countries would know examples of poor and underprivileged women from their countries. Based on India, I think of women who sell vegetables on a pavement. Or a Barton Wally, who carries a basket balanced on her head in the burning sun. She walks from door to door all day, trying to provide new kitchen utensils in exchange for old clothes, which she sells for a profit. There is very little profit potential in her enterprise, and she has no opportunities. But soon after migration to the UK, such a person will soon have a job whose title bears the word advisor, although she may be required to give advice in a language she cannot yet speak. But once she migrates to the UK, the host culture gives everything they possibly can to don an awesome mask, she enjoys some of the privileges of a white, six-foot-tall army general.